Omar, you've been talked about as kind of emerging as a leader on this defensive line. What do you feel like has led you to, to take on that role, and how do you feel like you've done it so far? Um, I feel like just, you know, when you have players like Matt Butler, who led me when I was a young player, just being under his wing, you know, I can be able to have a few steps, learn a few things from him. Now it's just time for me to step up and be a more vocal leader rather than a, 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 a person see me do it right, so i got to be more vocal. Rob? Omari, oh, sticking with leadership, what have you seen from Jeremy Banks this year as, as he's grown? And you, know, you always kind of have uh, want to have a linebacker on the defense be a leader. What did, how have you seen Jeremy grow in that area? Uh, I've seen Jeremy just, you know, always pushing everybody on the team every day, whether it's defense, offense, linebackers, wide receivers. He's always just motivating everyone on the team. And it's just he wants the best for everyone. And that's why I've seen him grow it. Mar, you, you were talking about Matt Butler just a second ago, and I'm wondering, he always kind of seemed like the guy who had a you know, kind of a football life balance kind of, and I'm wondering if some of that stuff that he would talk about with you had nothing to do with football and, and if that's helped you at all in, in any way. Oh, yeah, me and Matt, we had a real good connection. It's like just things outside of football. We hang out outside the facility all the time. We talk all the time while he's been going through um, this process for him. And just I'm keeping him uplifted. He's keeping me uplifted with spring ball. And just we have a real good connection. It's just been really – it was really good to, like, get to know Matt. And just now we just continue to build our brotherhood. Vince and Eric. You've obviously worked on that leadership part of it and stepped up, but what about the on-field? What were some focuses for you to try to take your game to another level? Mm -hmm. For um, for me, what I've been looking at this offseason is really just continuing to keep my pad level low, coming out, using my hands, and just continue to play physical and be fast off the ball. I feel like that's what the team needs as a defensive line, and that's what I'm trying to put out there, and that's what I'm trying to produce as a defensive line for me, and then the players beside me as well are trying to do the same thing, and we just want to be the best defensive line in the country. How much more comfortable are you right now compared to this time last year? You made a lot of strides in year one, and obviously trying to do the same here in year two with Rodney Garner. Um, it's, um, Real, I'm very comfortable now. Like we come in last year, new coaches, just new new players coming in. Everybody really trying to find where they fit in. At. And now we've been in the system one year. Everybody knows their tasks. Everybody knows what the coaches on the staff expect. And uh, we keep doing what we do. And then now it's just everybody's comfortable. Everybody's re ready to put in the work. Everybody's just happy to be here. Patrick and Adam. Leadership. What is one thing you you learned from from Matthew that just seeing him, how he kind of set the tone every day? Mm, one thing I learned from Matt is just um, being able to listen. As a leader, you got to be able to listen, regardless of how much that um, how much you might be vocal to someone else. You got to be able to hear it in as well. Like just because you're a leader, don't mean that you can't do wrong. So you got to be able to be ready when players on your team correct you as well. So and that's a big thing that Matt told me, and that's something that I've been learning really in some of my classes as well. Stick, going back to sort of on the field, what, how would you describe how Coach Garner's improved your game over the last 12 months? Since he I feel like he's um, just really made me become more twitchy off the line, just really um, get my get off, really just keeping my pad level low and just being physical. I feel like that's something that he's um, really instilled in me hard just over the past season and the spring so far and just, you know, playing physical. Byron Young is at the Leo, I think, and then Tyler is at the the other end. So those guys are going to be on the field together. Mm -hmm. What's the potential of that duo of them being on the field if together if that works out well? Uh, I mean, we, Coach G, he's always plays the best guys that is going to be on the field, and those two are two great guys on our team and two great guys on the defensive line, and we're going to need both of those guys to um, get where we want to go this year, just like we're going to need all the, everyone else on the defensive line as well. But every, the best player is always going to be out there. It, pass rush, is that what those two guys would add more than anything? They they add a lot of value to our team. Pass rush, run stop, everything we need them to do, they always willing to do it for the team and for the greater good of the team. Eric and Vince. 
Yeah, kind of on that, what have you seen from Tyler Barron this spring, moving really to the other side of the line, mm -hmm. more kind of a home base for him as he adjusts kind of away from Leo? I've seen Tyler just um, locked in every day. He's always ready to be here. He's working hard. It's just um, we all want to get better. I came in with Tyler. We're in the same class, and we all just have common goals. We all want to be great. We all want to just be the best for Tennessee, and that's something I think we've all just pulling in the right direction of right now, and that whole team is doing right now. Two things. Sorry if you've been asked this before, but is there any story or background with the uh, number 21 mm -hmm. that you switched to? Uh, no, it, it, it's not a unique story. Last year it was just a new team and new coaches, new everything. So I just wanted to switch my number up since it was a new year. And now I just I, I vibe with it. And uh, any guys on that D-line that you've seen make the biggest jump or improvement out of any of those returning guys? Mm -hmm. I feel like we, um, Amar McNeil, he's made a big jump. Bryson Eason, Dominic Bailey. All the young guys coming in, Tyree West, Jordan Phillips, everyone's just continuing to make strides every day, and we're just doing the best. We come in there means everyone's locked in, everyone's helping each other because we all know we got we, we need each other. We count on each other to be the best defense line in the country, and that's our goal. So everyone's pulling in the right direction for that, and we just got to be able to hold everybody accountable.